Here at home, teams from South Korea are competing in a massive international robotics competition just down the road. Let's get to Priya Mann, who's at Kobo. So Priya, what did they say? Karen, they were stunned. They just flew in from Seoul on Wednesday. Couldn't believe they were here in America as history was unfolding back home. When I heard that news, then, wow, we just entered a new area. It was like something out of the dream team's wildest dreams. North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un crossing into South Korea and shaking the president's hand. It never happened before. His gesture and his that attitude, we didn't expect. The dream team is from Seoul, and the third and fourth graders are competing at this robotics championship in Detroit with a water purification system. Little did they realize history was unfolding at home. They just completed their reviewing, and oh, I was so proud of that, and same to them, the both president. It's the dream team's first trip to America, a visit they will certainly never forget as all eyes are on the Korean Peninsula. I really hope that we may make real another history for the Korea. With this moment now cemented in history, attention is turning to what happens next. This team is hopeful and optimistic for the future. I know that it's not that we not end just one time, but then we want to have another step forward, the forward that the United that Korea. And the Dream Team returns to Seoul on Sunday. They are very excited to go back home. Home will certainly never be the same after this historic meeting. Reporting live from Kobo, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right, thank you very much, Priya.